Beethoven, of course, is known for his, uh, you know, yeah, I'm, yeah, I'm pleased with that, yes. Um, he is known for these huge symphonies and quartets and sonatas, and sometimes he just wants to have fun. So these little ecstasies are a, a prime example of Beethoven having a ball. Might not have been sober when writing them, I swear to God. But whatever. So the, the, uh, here's a, a little picture of a Scottish dance, which is what ecstasies is. It's absolutely nothing elegant, sweet, or um, you know, nice about it. There's a lot of people jumping around like in skirts. You know, uh, the result is hilarious. Um, really, ecstasy is not always used in the period as a kind term. I, I, I mean, Scottish things were thought to be uh, exotic, extreme, and uncouth, right? Kind of like think haggis. I, I, I find it delicious, but most people, yeah. Uh, so this is Beethoven's treatment of uh, Ecclesiastes. So the important thing about this is um, understanding how the piece works. So there are six Ecclesiastes. Each one is followed by um, come on, change by that thing that's in blue. You repeat it after each one, and I think this gives us scope for so much variety. I mean, knock yourself out doing different and hilarious stuff on each of them. So let me let me try something, some ideas, um, but you can literally do it differently each time you play it. <laughs> Unpleasant, uh, but not insurmountable. 